peoples and Twitch peoples and all the peoples. Grizzly Bear here and I'm back with some more Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And we're falling through a portal. No idea where we're about to land. And I'm super excited. I'm super de duper de duper excited. If you don't remember, Radar actually kind of left us in the last uh, episode. Uh, he's driving the Enderman away or having to chase him so we can save all the people behind us. Don't know what's going on with Zara. She was still fighting the mobs when we went through, so I don't know if she's going to catch back up or what. But let's continue falling and find out where the heck we land up. Ugh. Pain everywhere. That looks like hurt. That's it. No more mystery portals. Where's everyone else? Ever. <laughs> ah, there's the llama. I'm with the llama. <laughs> okay, there they are. Somehow none of them fell down that hole. That's Is impressive. Is everyone all right? Uh oh. It's the Order's temple. Oh. Hey, we did it. We're back! But are we? <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood! This is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Yeah, wait. But that'll bother him too. <laughs> He's always on time. Oh god. We'll have to Jesse, get him a watch. We are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Because they were obsidian everywhere. Fireworks. Why is there fireworks? Did you see that? There's a way to see it from up there, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Distance. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? That's not Beacon Town. That's the other one, right? Beacon Town. Oh, it is Beacon Town. Never mind. I thought that was the other one. Oh, come on! Really? I swear, I do this every time. I stop at like two minutes. Well, that's alright, because I guess it gives us a couple extra minutes to talk about what happened. Did you accept the scavenger's deal? You and 62% of players refused the scavenger's deal. Which, they're actually still stuck there then. Wow, they're still stuck there then. They're butts anyways. Did you win the trivia contest? You and 80% of players won the trivia trivia contest in Fresh Keep. So that- I wonder what would happen if you did not win. I was content to let life pass me by. Is that- that is That's Jackson. Came along with a glint in their eye. What? They said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas. I hadn't heard any of these. The seas came a calling for me. It's a lonely road for a hero. The road is a bittersweet friend. For the road I want to talk about this, but I want to hear this. But it's all you'll have left in the end. I wish I had the lyrics to sing along. Sure, there is glory in my tragic backstory. But that is not why I'm small. For nothing built shoulders like regrets big as boulders As sure as the grief takes its toll I'm thankful my arms are so ripped Or I'd been crushed from the start And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked To hold the pain of my broken heart Oh, Wow, that's sad <laughs> I wasn't expecting that my friends' faces, they'll never leave me So I wrote them this sad serenade For the curse of a memory that's perfect Is that those faces, they'll never fade I wasn't expecting- my eye <clears throat> I wasn't expecting it to go so it's sad now It's a lonely road for a hero oh. But I won't be alone at its end For I will wait in the shallows Until we meet again 
until we meet again. Okay, I was not expecting that. Anyway, guys, so 80% won the trivia contest. I do question what would happen if you don't actually win. That would be an interesting thing to think about. Like, do you have to break in to figure it out, or does he tell you, or... I wonder what happens. What did you say to Petra? You and 80.2% players promised to stay with Petra. 2.4 players stayed silent. 17.4% players promised to wait. For me, I think I see Jesse as an adventurer. She's been an adventurer since the beginning, and I think she was happier as an adventurer. Uh, she seemed happy to be running in town, and she loved the people, but she just her, more herself being out and adventuring. At least to me, and she doesn't seem so stressed and like, oh, this got to get done, this got to get done, and blah blah blah. Did you give Zara her bed? You and 89.4% of players gave Zara her bed. Okay, why would you not? What are you going to do with the bed? Are you just, are you going to hog it for yourself? Are you a bed hog? You guys sound like you're bed hogs. <laughs> um, I, I, she needed it. She thought everything was bad, so give her a bed. Make her happy again. Who did you bring to the service? Me and 67.9% players brought Minta and Fred's friends to the surface. So a lot of people had radar stay down. 32.1% uh, of players did save radar. Okay. Are we gonna get a little preview? <gasps> we get a preview! Are you Lucas? Jesse! Oh wait. Man, is it good to see you? Oh my god, no! Rudy! You gotta be kidding me! Go away! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys! I was not expecting that. Where are the others? What others? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, she just... Oh, what did he do? What did... What did he do to Lucas? Oh, what did he do to Lucas? You're not allowed to do anything to Lucas! Oh, man. I hope Lucas is okay. I guess we won't find out until next episode! I don't even know when... Which is actually going to be the last one. I wonder when that's coming out. Above and Beyond is what it's called. I'm excited. And then I'm excited for there to be Season 3. There needs to be a Season 3. There better be a Season 3. So guys, that was the end of Episode 4. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys liked the series. And you should go check it out. And then I shall see the rest of you later. Bye.